Okay, so now we're going to do some of our gun defense. So first thing we're going to do is the gun threat to the chest, okay? So I'm going to turn this way and then we'll turn it the other way. And so first thing we're going to do is the uh, official version, we go here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the left hand here and I'm going to turn and grab. I'm going to push this into her body, two punches. I'm going to reach underneath. I'm going to twist, hit, knee, rip it out, chamber the gun, and then back up. Okay? So again, if we look at it from this position here. So again, one of the things I want to do right off the bat is comply. Why? It allows my hands to get close. The other thing, I'm just moving my hands out of the way so you guys can see this. I want to be able to turn my body like that off the line of fire. I'm not moving my feet. Okay, so I do that at the same time as this hand comes right across and I grab. And you notice I'm grabbing right here at the barrel. Okay? Now I'm going to step in, I'm going to stiff arm this so that she can't push it out. Two punches. Now watch what I'm going to do. Don't pull it back out like this. Just pull it just enough to reach in by the hammer back here. Twist it in place. Hit, knee, rip it out, chamber it, and keep it nice and tight from right here. Okay? The other one we're going to do is the one also we call this clap. Okay? So from right here, again, I can fly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap like that, push that towards her, and go here. Now, a couple of options. One, some people will do like an inward block. Other people will take the rigid knuckles and hit that. I just portray like a slap. And you can definitely move your body off the way here, and then you can go over there. So, slower. So, just push, chamber, and lock. Okay? So those are your two gun threat to the chest.